This is the um, loft room which is available at um, £850 a month. Um, has a full size double bed. Um, some quite good storage on this side under the um, window. And the, in that space there will go the wardrobe which is um, it's a three door with a mirror from Ikea but I can't remember the exact name of it. Um, that chest of drawers can be kept or not as the person feels and there's plenty of room um, on this side for a desk or a table, whatever whatever is required. Um, there is here the uh, TV point and direct connection, wired connection to the internet because sometimes the signal's not great with the wireless up here. And uh, the bathroom, the ensuite bathroom is done in the same style as the others and has everything you need, uh, including a lit bathroom cabinet. This is the first floor bathroom, which uh, is done in a similar style. It's not as... and has everything that you need for including the um, cabinet. This is the um, first floor bedroom that's available. It has a four foot bed, um, the video, a uh, TV connection there and the USB plugs and so on. It's not the hugest room, however, there will be a um, Brimner's two door wardrobe going in that space where the mirror is at the moment and a mirror on there. Now, when you, when you, when you look here, you, can, you could put a small desk on this side or on that side. Of, of the room so uh, whichever way you wanted to configure it or if you wanted a bedside table or something like that um, that would work as well this is the ground floor bedroom that is available at 600 a month and uh, has a four foot bed there and the wardrobe could go on that side again it's a three door Ikea wardrobe with a mirror and or you could put um, your wardrobe over that side, have a desk over this side, um, or configure it however you wanted, or maybe you want a table. Depends, you know, how, how, how you want to set the room out. But there's uh, plenty of room either at this end or the other end. And again, this one has the aerial and plenty of electrical sockets as well. And they're all, all of the rooms have dimmer switches, so that you, you, you don't have to have those very bright lights all the time. This is the ground floor bathroom, which uh, is the same style as the others. It's got bigger, it's bigger, it's got a bigger shower and um, bath area. And a bigger cabinet as well, with the same with the loo and the um, towel rail. Then we move into the kitchen area, well, kitchen living area, which is big. Uh, you can hear the sound actually change when I walk in here. Um, there are two freezers, two microwaves, two fridges, two cookers, and two basins, sinks, in fact, and uh, storage, you know, for food and so on, um, all throughout. Over here, we have the washer, washing machine and the dryer and you can see the very large water tank and boiler which keep the hot water flowing at all times no matter who's having a shower or who's washing anything. On this side there will be, um, the TV will go on that behind the where the suitcase is now and, the, and there will be a corner sofa which would reach practically up to the dining table which extends to have uh, eight, so seat eight, and can be, and there are eight chairs as well. That's the bifold doors to the garden, which is um, grassed over, has some nice trees and things like that in it, and a barbecue. Um, 